Hello. Welcome to Timber Hill Red Bones. My name is Jamie. I wanted to get on here and just chit chat a little bit with you guys. Um, and do a, do a couple of shout outs to the, some of the uh, hunters that I follow. The first one's going to be Nick from Nightlife Kennel. And then the Jewel Boys Coon Hunter. Hunting, I'm sorry. Um, Nightfall Adventures. And this guy, um, he, sh he hunts, I guess, but I just ordered a coon call from him. It's JC Calls. As I say these, I hopefully, um, they're going to be above me with their photos. So if you guys would like, please go check them out. Um, they're all really good people. They're down to earth. I really, I really like them. Um, my channel is no comparison to them, but I'm not here to compete. I'm here to do my own thing. I'm hoping just because I'm the woman behind the camera that you guys will still watch my videos. My husband's there, but he doesn't want to be on the camera. Um, so let's get started. I want to um, tell you a little bit about my husband and I. Um, we started our kennel, I'm going to say back in the late 70s, early 80s when he first uh, got his first red bone. But before that, he's had quite a few hunting dogs. His very first hunting dog um, was a plot. And I'm going to say that was in the late 70s. Um, he got it from his neighbor, uh, Charlie Baker. And then he had another neighbor that also coon hunted, but he was a walker guy. His name was Frankie Graham. That guy, from the stories my husband has told me about him, he would literally um, not wait for the dog to tree. He was literally running through the woods to try to get to the tree I mean, it was awful. My husband would come home so wore out. He's a, oh, never again, never again, never again. Frankie Graham's crazy. Frankie Graham's crazy. He's got to beat the dogs to the tree. Oh, it was, it was just hilarious. Um, th that's what he got a, um, it was a black and tan walker mix named Duke. He said he was a really good dog, but he couldn't hunt him with other, do other male dogs because he was really, really mean. Um, then he bred him to a black and tan female i don't know anything about her and he kept a male pup out of that named bruiser um i don't know whatever how he did i don't remember he doesn't talk about stuff like that um but i do remember i have a photo of him trying to get the dog to bark on the tree he had put a hot dog in the tree in the fork of the tree i'll show you with um show you some of those um also see after that um, I can't think. I think he ended up with a walker dog named Striker, and then while he had Striker, is then when he got his first timber chopper dog from Max Hunter and Wayne Campbell out of West Virginia. Um, he also got another dog named Bill. I don't remember where he said he got Bill, and then he got a female out of North Carolina from a Jim Carpenter, and then Buford. Out of Tennessee, he doesn't remember where he got him from. Um, so then we bred Rip to Sage, even though she didn't amount to anything. I think I said that all wrong. If I said that wrong, I apologize. He got Sage and Buford. Sage was from North Carolina, and Buford was out of Tennessee. Then he bred Sage, yes, Sage and Rip. And he ended up keeping two pups out of that. One was Ace, and the other one was Sasha. That's when we started our um, kennel name, Timber Hill. Okay? Um, the two pups that he had kept were really, really, really good dogs. It's a sad, but Ace, uh, there's going to be photos. Um, he was actually just started treeing his treeing coon. I don't think he treated it by himself, but he had just started training coon when he was like 11 months old. And it's sad, I have I hate to say this part, but we lost him because he had crossed the road. He got hit and killed. So that was another heartbreaker. Um, and then, of course, all the hunting things that go with that. Um, let's see. And then, oh, let me tell you about that. Rip won, a, a, he entered Rip in a... Um, competition hunt it was him and his buddies and he won high scoring red bone mail won the trophies i think i have a picture of that in one of my other videos but i'll uh, hunt it up and i'll put it in this video he made the red book 
Um, and then that's when I think Wayne lost their dog, Rocky. His Rip's name was Timber Chopper Rocky. And I think that dog died and he found out Dale's dog want to hunt. And so he wanted to buy him back for a thousand. And Dale said, no way he was selling him back. Um, so Rip day, stayed with us till the day he died, which was very hard. I've never seen a bond with a, the bond the way they had. That dog, you didn't, Dale never had to put him on a leash. The dog knew to load up. And when we come home, after they would come home, I looked out the window and here Rip and Dale, my husband, walking side by side out to the kennel and Rip would go right on in. I just thought it was awesome. Dale could make that dog sit and stay and Dale could walk and walk and walk and walk and that dog would not move till Dale called that dog. I mean, that was amazing. So on Christmas Day in 94, I went out to see Rip. Dale was outside working on, he, he was always outside. He was outside doing something to the kennels outside. And I kept calling Rip, calling Rip, calling Rip. No response. So I stuck my head, uh, I stuck my head in the co in the box and Rip was gone. So then I had to go tell Dale. And I told him and I come back in the house so that way Dale could have his time with his dog, which was very, very sad. And then a few months later, um, Sasha was pregnant with another male dog that we had. His name was Bill. That dog was nuts. He was mean. And that was because of my son would tease him with his dog food. And that dog never forgot that. Sorry, I got off off track. But um, we ended up losing her about two months later. So then that was it for us. We decided we were going to just raise our family and be done with hunting after we lost our, our two do all, the, all of our good dogs. So now to present day of 2016. Okay, I'm tired of sitting in around, around the house. I am a very, really, really big dog person. I went to school, or should I say took an online course for become a dog obedient slash trainer instructor. Well, you know what that means. Mama wants dogs. Mama loves dogs. I've had a dog all my life. So this actually worked out for me. So I said, then my husband, I said, well, since you can't lift anything over 10 pounds or you can't do anything heavy, walking is good. Why don't we get back into coon hunting? We don't want to sit here and die. So he said, well, check with uh, Timber Chopper and see if, they, see if they got any pups. Oh, you didn't have to tell me again. So July of 2016, I got a hold of them. They said they had a pup. We drove all the way down there. We brought him back. That's where PR Timber Chopper Hunter come from. But his breeding is actually out of bear stock because he my husband really wants to go bear hunting really really bad he really does he said before i die i want to go bear hunting i'm like okay fine but we're not going by ourselves so i keep telling my son i said we've got to let him go bear hunting but you have to go with us okay so back to the story so then i fell in love with hunter um and then i'm like you know what i've never had my own hunting dog I said, well, let's get a female so we can um, raise them together and blah, blah, blah. Called him again. He had that, and my husband said, call him and see if they have a, a dog ready. So I called him, talked to Wayne and his family, drove down there, and we got Bella. Y'all seen Bella. P.R. Ballin' Bella. And if you ever hear her... Uh, yeah, she's really freaking loud. Um, she's actually out of coon stop, <clears throat> coon hound stop, and I love her to death, as you can tell in some of my videos. Um, so there we have it. So we got them, and then my husband wants to, um, you know, have our kennel, but we're not in it to make money. We're in it to bring back the red bone breed. Okay, um, it's not all about money. If the dog don't hunt and do well. We're, we we won't breed the dog, and I don't believe in breeding the dog. If people want puppies, and we know that they're going to have a good home, and we can put them in a home and not <clears throat> not them end up in a pound somewhere, then we'll breed. If we have enough people that want a puppy, then we will breed the dog. Uh, I would love to um, see our dogs go to good homes and people that are going to hunt them. If you make a pet out of them, that's on you. But our goal personally is to bring back the red bone coonhound with the long ears the deep ball deep ball mouth okay so i hope you enjoyed this um if there's any questions or anything please feel free to drop them in the comment below and my hands are moving because look my little miniature dachshund okay 
Thank you, every, to each, thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody, looking. <laughs> thank you, everybody, for supporting our channel. Um, I really do appreciate it. For all you new ones, thanks for clicking on the, clicking and just watching. I really, truly appreciate it. Okay, take care, and like I'm, my new saying is, keep the hounds happy, healthy, and in the woods. So, until next time, bye.